Hey guys, so I want to show you guys a couple key things that I always keep in my freezer. Your freezer is a very valuable tool to help um, keep you on track with your beauty detox lifestyle. So let me show you guys. This is my freezer here in LA and I'm just going to pull out a couple things that I always have on hand. Um, the first thing here, I have a couple of containers. This is my bee pollen. And when you buy it in fairly large quantities as I do like this, it's um, this is about two pounds. It's nice to keep it fresh in your freezer. And then I take um, smaller contain, I make a smaller container of the bee pollen that I keep in my fridge for daily use. I have energy in a spoon, which is basically a scoop, a little scoop of the bee pollen with some coconut oil on it. Uh, I try and have it every day or a couple times a week when I need more energy. I also put bee pollen in my power protein smoothie, some of my um, almond milk based smoothies as well. Blend right in. Ooh. <laughs> I also have, these are my favorite acai packs. Um, this is the no sugar added by the Sambazon company. And when I make a smoothie at home, I usually only use half of a smoothie pack for myself. So I tend to cut them in half and then I save the other half in here. This works really well with coconut water or even um, unsweetened almond milk, a little bit of cacao or not. Um, I usually put the bee pollen in my acai shakes as well. It tastes really good. Um, and some stevia and banana. So th these are easy shakes I can make when I need a snack really quick. I'm really super hungry. Um, I'll make a lot of smoothies fast. Let's see. Oh, here is my... These are my favorite gluten-free wraps. This is by a company called Sonoma. You can find these in the refrigerated section at Whole Foods or health food store. And these are basically made with teff, which is an amazing grain um, from Africa. It's high in um, minerals and protein, and of course it's gluten-free. So I like to keep them in my freezer for emergencies. If I need to, I'm really hungry, I need to make a wrap really fast, like an avocado wrap, or sometimes I make veggie burger wraps, I'll just turn on the oven and like heat this up for a couple minutes and make a wrap really fast. Sometimes a really easy, um, yummy dessert is to heat up one of these wraps, part of a wrap, let's say half a wrap or a quarter of a wrap, and I put stevia on it and cinnamon, and I make a version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is really delicious. Oh, and here I always have some um, glowing green smoothie, which if I needed to, didn't have time, I could thaw it out and um, put it in my fridge the day before. This is, this is a container from my shop. This is um, from GlowBio, but basically this is PET number one. This is non-leachable um, plastic. It is uh, uh, BPA free. So this is something that's okay to freeze in. You wanna make sure that you use BPA free containers. But this is a way, again, if I know that I'm really busy the next day or I didn't go shopping, I'll just pop one of these out and stick them in my fridge. And then by the next day, my hands are really cold now. <laughs> by the next day, then you would have a GGS ready to make. So these are a couple really key items that I always have in my freezer. Um, I hope these were some useful items for you guys as well. Easy to source and easy to keep around.